Today I am not showing anything specific. We're going to play a little game. An uh, easy little game. Behind the camera is my TV. And I'm going to put on a clip from a TV show. I'm not going to tell you what TV show is, and you have to guess. You know, it's a violation of parole for me. That's two years back in the joint. Ben, shoot! Nah, nah. You're not going to shoot? Well, look at it this way, Fireball. We're going to do you a favor. I mean, I wouldn't be caught dead in a dress like that. Oh, I don't know. You look rather nice in basic black and pearl. What happened to you? Don't ask. Come on! I'm just going to get my reactions to what's going on. Well, I wonder what the idle rich are up to this morning. Bob, it just kept exploding. I have a girlfriend. We live together. This whole flirtation's in your head. You should have mentioned her earlier. But not too early. I hate it when men do that. I have a girlfriend. Calm down. I just asked if that seat was taken. That guy's a jerk. Thing is, I don't think he is. I spark with this person. I never spark. I wonder how happy they are. You gotta be Cooper. I hear you're on a piece of just about every boxer in town. Yeah, what's it to you? I'm a manager. I want to take over Buddy Briggs' contract. And what are you, some kind of wise guy? Yeah, I'm a wise guy. With a lot of long green. You made his long green? I'll trade Buddy for long green. No, no, I mean I got cash. You made Johnny Cash too? Wait a minute. Who are you? Kelly. Bob Kelly. I do not have a fat face. Oh, please, I keep wondering how long you're going to store those nuts for winter. <laughs> well, at least I'm not spindly. Who are you calling spindly, fat face? You, spindly, fat face. Spindly, fat face, spindly. Fat face. You take that back. You make me. I will make you. I don't see you making me. Oh, yeah, well, here's making you. Here's... Oh! <laughs> Have a mind are welcome to join. Those who just as soon stay on the ship can do that too. Mm, I must see the benefit in getting involved in strangers' troubles without a upfront price negotiated. These people need assistance. The benefit wouldn't necessarily be for you. That's what I'm saying. No one's gonna force you to go, Jane. As has been stated, this job is strictly speculative. Good. Don't know these folks, don't much care to. They're whores. I'm in. Visitors are reminded that cutting from the garden is on very smart. Not exactly NHS. No shop. I like the little shop. I thought this far in the future they'd have killed everything. The human race moves on, but so do the viruses. It's an ongoing war. Oh. They're cats. Now, don't stare. Think what you look like to them, all pink and yellow. That's where I'd put the shop. Right there. So just because I haven't written any symphonies or painted the Sistine Chapel, that makes me prunable. No, being a totally worthless, unwashed space bum, that's what makes you feel <laughs> Precisely. The criterion is not fame. It is simply to have lived a worthwhile life. Why did no one mention this before? <laughs> if I'd been told about this at the start, that the object was to lead a worthwhile life, I could have done something about it. <laughs> all those charity telethons when I used to ring in and pledge donations. If I'd known all this, I would have given them my credit card number. <laughs> On the other hand, maybe Rodney just stepped out for a smoke. For 21 hours? It's addictive, you know. Well, we'll deal with that when we've ruled out evil curses. One day I'm going to live in a town where evil curses are just generally ruled out without even saying. Well, that's a lot. As you can see, the last one I had to do today, last night, I did them all. Today, I'm finishing it off. And I'm going to give you the answers. But first, I'm going to give you a little break in order to think them over. And please, no... Cheating. Okay, now for the answers. The first one was... It was Starsky and Hutch. Episode in the second season if I can remember the name of the episode, because the beginning was actually used in more than one. In fact, I can't remember at all. <laughs> but I do know that it was used in a first season episode as well. But, yep. So, 
point for the if you happen to know the name of the episode because I don't. <laughs> and the second one was Sex and the City. Fifth season, episode chord. Plus one is the loneliest number. And the next up is... Police Squad, in color. Starring Leslie Nielsen. Police Squad, in color. A bit of a tricky one, but I thought... It was a popular program, they made films of it. And the episode is called Ring of Fear. And that would make the next one. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs. Oh my. And maybe I seem a bit confused. Yeah, maybe, but I got you pegs. <laughs> but I don't know what to do with those toss salads and scrambled eggs. Fraser. A bit of a difficult clip. I could have, I could have found one with more characters, but I thought episode called Author Author in the first season. And next up... Take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. I don't care, I'm still free, you can't take the sky from me. Take me out, to the black, tell them I ain't coming back. Burn the land and boil the sea. Take the sky from me. Firefly. A short season, but a good season. Episode called Heart of Gold. They could never have cancelled it. Next up. a bit of Doctor Who from the second season, first season with the new Doctor, episode called New Earth, which is a very good episode and I just wanted to add in the clip of him talking about the little shop because I thought it was funny. And the next up... <laughs> Again, I should, probably shouldn't have used quite so many short and British programmes, but they're all popular. Episode called The Inquisitor. And lastly... <laughs> season episode Incan Mummy Girl. I originally had a different clip but it was not so good. And that's it. Thank you for playing my little game.